vlog. Um, if you're new around here, my name is Sam. I'm a marketing manager for a body care startup and I've been making videos about my life for many years now, just about my career in marketing and my life and all that kind of stuff. I am taking a week off of work just to kind of like recharge and reset. This year has been so crazy for me um, and I just need some time to take off. I'm prepping to get all of my work done ahead of time so that I can be out for um, some time and then once I get back to work, I'm also going on a work trip. Right now, we are just powering through the work week, trying to get everything done so that I can have fun on my time off. But yeah, I appreciate you all for being here and yeah. I just got back from running a little errand and actually kind of a big errand. <laughs> Yep, that's a screen. That is definitely a computer screen in there. Ugh. The thing about me is I hate directions. All right, don't need that. Haha. -ha. Got it. Oh, wait, there's more steps? Stop. I'm done. Huh? What do you want? Um, something yummy. We are set up. Next on the list is getting rid of this TV. Literally no one uses it probably make that wall a little bit cuter. I just got back from picking up some clothes from the tailor. How cute! Oh my god, yay! Wow. She did an amazing job. As some of you may or may not know, I have a full-time job as a marketing manager at a startup body care brand. And then I also used to be a 100% freelancer, content creator. And so I still do those side projects as well. And I wanted to talk about how a lot of people ask me my experience in marketing and how I got into marketing and how they can break into marketing. And I am super excited to tell you guys about a certificate program that I recommend to you if you are wanting to break into the digital marketing career path. And it is the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Professional Certificate that is provided on Coursera. There's no way I could remember all of the things that you will learn through this program. So I'm going to read them because people often ask for any certification recommend recommendations. And this is one that I 100% recommend. It's completely beginner friendly. You do not have to have any experience prior to starting this program. It's completely self-paced. And if you put about 10 hours a week, you can have this certification within six months. So some of the things you'll learn in this program is learning the fundamentals of digital marketing e-commerce to gain the skills needed to land an entry level job, measure marketing performance through analytics and present insights. Important. My full-time job is like, I would say like 50% analytics based. Um, attract and engage customers through digital marketing channels like search and email and build e-commerce stores, analyze online performance, and grow customer loyalty. If you have a degree, maybe you don't, and you are just wanting to start preparing yourself for an entry-level marketing role, I think this is a great foundation to start to make sure your bases are covered, you know what you're doing, you feel a little bit more comfortable going into the marketing world. I even think this could be great for someone who is new to a marketing role and 
I understand that when you're thrown into the marketing world, there is just a lot to learn very quickly. And sometimes you have to learn on your feet. And so if I were even in an entry level role, wanting some support, I would honestly encourage enrolling in this program because it helps give you a very strong foundation in marketing and e-commerce. Yeah, if there's a course I can recommend, it would be this one. And you can sign up right now to enroll a seven day free trial. The link is in the description of this video. I hope this is helpful for anyone who is looking to start their career in marketing. What do you think? I like it. But do you love it? It's the best one that we've seen. Like, sure. like it makes I feel really good about it, but I feel like you're whatever about it. Okay. I'm happy. It's time to assume the position. Common occurrence for my work day is that sometimes it's like super, super jumbled. And I started this morning at eight. Now it's 12.50 out and I just went to the grocery store, ran some errands, kind of like to run errands in the middle of the day because I like to concentrate at night and so I get everything done. And I kind of like do like an afternoon heavy work day. I have to film a video for work actually. I'm kind of really tired today so I need to like wake up because I need to have some personality in this video. This is the Merit Blush in Beverly Hills. Hmm. It's another overcast day. The sun is out. It's Friday and Alec and I took all of next week off. So we're officially on vacation and we just got some Friday night pizza. I mean, how many times can I hit my head? Oh, almost. We're already on four. <laughs> So it's Monday and Alec and I took this whole week off of work um, to literally just chill. Like we don't have a vacation plan. Well, we do have vacation plans, but they're just like staycations. But yeah, we're just chilling this week. We honestly just needed a break. This year has just been insane. I've been on like nonstop work trips. I'm now an engaged woman. Like we went on a full month long trip and then I got home and I went on another like three week trip. Between all of that, when you're a remote worker and you're like going from place to place to place, it sounds like a great idea. Like, oh, I work remote. It's awesome, it's so flexible. But I'm someone who thrives in routine. And so this whole year my routine has been very thrown off. And so therefore my work has been very thrown off. And so I've just been like scrambled. And so I thought the only thing that could help me is just having a week this year to like reset. And so that's what we're going into, my little reset week. If I can tell you guys anything, it's to figure out what kind of rest works in your life because what works in someone's life doesn't work in yours either. So you have to kind of customize your rest and relaxation routine. Is that beautiful? Tomorrow I am leaving on a work trip. I am going to Tucson, Arizona. We are shooting some new products that are launching later this year and then we are just kind of doing just like an overall brand shoot. And so today is like full prep for that trip. I went 
went to the store to Lazy Acres to get some stuff and I had to get some cactus like fruits that we use in our products um, because we're going to be taking some photos of them. And then I also got some stuff just for my trip. These came while I was out and I just got these element electrolytes because it's going to be so hot in Arizona that I just want to make sure I'm hydrated. From Lazy Acres, I got a little trail mix. It's a keto trail mix. Even though I'm not keto, I just, I liked what was in it. <laughs> I got these over easy bars. These are really good. These breakfast bars, just like some easy little healthy snacks. And then I also got some nectarines. So I'll be packing all of that with me. The longest travel day ever. So many things went wrong. I am just so excited to go to bed, but let me show you guys the room I'm in really quick. <laughs> we are staying at the Joshua Tree Hotel in Tucson. We have a photo shoot today, so I have to get ready. I have to head over to the main house for breakfast and hair and makeup because I'm also modeling. <laughs> so I'm just enjoying my space because this place is genuinely beautiful. I literally had the best night's sleep I've had in a really long time. I think I was exhausted and the sheets and the bed here are just so comfortable. I feel like we have been in a very long journey together in this vlog. I've been doing so many things and I swear it's only been, I think it's been like a course of like three weeks. Days of Thursday, I have meetings starting at 10.30. It's nine o'clock. I haven't started working yet. It's actually my second coffee of the day. The first one just wasn't cutting it. Okay, a little bit unrelated to work. <laughs> actually very unrelated but I on Instagram whenever I post like something about a book I always get um, <laughs> questions about what I'm reading so I thought I would just tell you guys so these two books I just ordered off of thrift books you should definitely be shopping for your books off thrift books it's like used books are a lot cheaper um, so the first one I got is called in defense of food um, and then I also got this book called Women Who Think Too Much. Um, I haven't started this one yet, but I think this is going to be a good one for me. <laughs> and then on my Kindle, I'm currently reading a pretty good book. Um, it's called All Good People Here, and I'm renting it from Libby. Um, and Libby is what I use on my Kindle to read books, and I really like it. I'm like obsessed with my Kindle right now. And so this one is kind of like a thriller I guess I would say suspense I don't know so yeah that's what I'm reading right now Just like that, day's over. I think I got a lot done. 